The great gift of working on Love Boat was working with all of these now legendary performers that unfortunately a lot of new generations don't even remember. Uh, and the two that stick out in my mind are Ethel Merman, Ethel Merman, if you please, who played my mother on the show. Uh, and did a couple of episodes, and I got to know professionally and personally. And um, as a matter of fact, when she was little, Mariah, my daughter, uh, asked if she could come to the to come to the studio to meet Ethel Merman. So I said, sure. I took her out of school, and we walk into the makeup room at six o'clock in the morning. Ethel sitting in the chair. And that can be kind of a scary experience, you know, to see a woman of that age sitting in a chair with no makeup and a, a skull cap on. And so I introduced my daughter, who was then 10 or so, to Ethel. And she wheels around on a chair and says, call me grandma. <laughs> and the other, is, the, other, the other signature memory I have is just about 35 years ago, because I was on Love Boat, I was, I was doing summer theater, uh, and I got to do um, How to Succeed in Business with Don Amici, who never, who never did Love Boat, but was just beginning to rekindle his career at about the same age as I am now, and of course then went on to, went on to win the Academy Award for Cocoon and, and elsewhere. And we traveled, we, we toured in, in, um, in How to Succeed. And that was a that was a tremendous gift that, to get to know to get to know these people. I mean, just parenthetically, Helen Hayes contributed to my first congressional campaign. She sent me a check for a hundred bucks, and I was looking at it. My campaign manager said, "What's that?" I said, "I said it's a check from Helen Hayes." I said, "I don't think I should cash it." He said, "I've seen the polls; we're cashing it." <laughs> so, I mean, that's that's to me. Um, the memory of that show is all of the people that somehow came into my orbit and I got a chance to kind of touch and work with those folks. 